Hello friends, today we are going to see the problems based on IR spectroscopy. What are the different types of the problems are asked on the, base, on the basis of IR spectroscopy that we will have to see. So first type of the problem that are asked on the basis of IR spectroscopy are calculate the fundamental modes of vibrations of the molecule. Fundamental modes of vibration first you should know what is mean by fundamental modes of vibration fundamental modes of vibration means the number of ways by which molecule can vibrate number of ways by which molecule can vibrate molecule can vibrate Okay. Now, how will you calculate the number of fundamental modes of vibration? For that, you should know the geometry of the molecule. Geometry of molecule. Whether it is linear or non-linear, only that you have to find out. Whether it is a linear or non-linear. Depending on that, you can easily find out the number of ways by which molecule can vibrate. Okay. So for non-linear fundamental modes of vibration, fundamental modes of vibration equal to 3n minus 5. And for that of non-linear molecule, fundamental modes of vibration equal to 3n minus 6 so these are the formulas by which you can easily find out the number of modes of vibration where n is number of atoms present in molecule number of atoms present in molecule so with the help of examples it will be more clear to you so just see the students how we can calculate the fundamental modes of vibration suppose this is the molecule given to you h2o and it is asked what is the different types of fundamental modes of vibrations okay so let's find out that so h2o its geometry is what linear or non-linear? It's a non-linear molecule. Non-linear molecule. Therefore, the number of fundamental modes of vibration is 3n minus 6. So let's find out that number of fundamental modes of vibration equal to 3n minus 6 as it is a non-linear molecule so formula is a 3n minus 6 so how many atoms are present in this molecule so 1 2 3 so let's put n is equal to 3 so 3 into 3 it's 9 minus 6 equal to 3 so water molecule has three fundamental modes of vibration suppose second molecule asked like this carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide all of know the structure of carbon dioxide is linear its a geometry is a linear so therefore as it is a linear <coughs> the number of fundamental modes of vibration equal to which formula we have to use which formula we have to use 3n minus 5 okay so 3n minus 5 so 3 into n 1 2 3 3 atoms are present so 3 minus 5 so again if you have 9 minus 5 so is equal to 4 so in this way we can easily find out the number of 
fundamental modes of vibrations for any molecule. So you have to just find out its geometry. So if you know the geometry clearly, you can easily find out any molecule's fundamental modes of vibration. So let's take one more example. Suppose you have a benzene molecule, C6H6. So structure, all of you know that benzene has linear or nonlinear. So it's not a nonlinear. It's a nonlinear molecule. So therefore, fundamental modes of vibration equal to 3n minus 6. So we have 3 into so how many number of atoms are present? 6 plus 6, 12. So 12 minus 6. Okay. So 12, 3 is a 36. So 36 minus 6, we have a 30. So these are the number of fundamental modes of vibration for benzene molecule. So all of you get how we can find out the fundamental modes of vibration. Okay. Now let's go for the next problem. Another type of question asked on the IR spectroscopy is distinguish between the following pair by IR spectroscopy. Suppose this pair is given to you, benzyl alcohol and benzyl dehydes. So how will you distinguish between them? So we can easily see that here in benzyl alcohol OH group is present. So this OH group shows IR frequency at 3200 to 3600 cm inverse. Same frequency will be absent in case of benzaldehyde because there is no OH group. So that is the distinguishing point. Second point of difference in benzaldehyde, so there is a carbonyl group which shows the IR absorption band at 1700 cm inverse. And the same frequency is absent in case of benzyl alcohol as carbonyl group is not present in it. One more characteristic difference in these two is this aldehydic CH stretching frequency. So it can come up to 2700 to 2900 cm inverse. And this frequency definitely absent in case of benzyl alcohol. So in this way you can easily distinguish between the any two compound by using IR spectroscopy. Okay. Now let's go for the next example. Suppose we have a this pair metacresol and any so first we will draw the structures so metacresol has a structure like this so methyl group and OH groups are meta to each other so this is the metacresol now anisole so in anisole benzene ring is attached to OCH3 group. Okay. Now what are the point of difference that we'll have to see according to IR spectroscopy. So once again if you see a characteristic IR absorption band for OH group is shown at 3200 to 3600 cm inverse. Right? While in case of anisole, same frequency is absent. Now in case of anisole, which is the characteristic frequency? So here it's COC linkage. So ether linkage is present and it can absorb at 1050 to 1270 cm inverse. So this frequency is absent in case of metacresol. So these are the distinguishing points for the this pair. Okay, so in this way you can easily distinguish. Let's take one more example. Suppose we have uh, this particular pair 
फेनिल एसिटिक एसिड एंड मिथाइल बेंजोइट सो लेट्स ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर फर्स्ट सो डेफिनेटली बेंजिन रिंग इज देर और फेनिल रिंग विच इज present alpha to acetic acid so this is a phenyl acetic acid and now methyl benzoate the structure of methyl benzoate so we have the structure of methyl benzoate is like this this is the structure of methyl benzoate now let's find out the characteristic frequencies of the different groups so definitely in case of phenyl acetic acid oh group is there so which will be absorbed at nearly 2800 to 3600 cm inverse depending on the hydrogen bonded form so ir frequency will be occurs at this particular ir absorption that is 2800 3600cm inverse while one more characteristic frequency is there of the carbonyl group of acid so when acid is there its carbonyl group will shows ir absorption band at 1700 to 1725 cm inverse now what are the ir peaks in methyl benzoate so methyl benzoate is showing coc linkage as well as carbonyl group so carbonyl group will show the ir absorption but as it is the ester so esters will absorb towards the longer wavelength due to the electro negative oxygen there so it shows the minus i effect so we'll have the ir absorption nearly of 21735 to 1750 cm inverse okay <clears throat> and what's the ir frequency of the coc as usual so coc group will show the ir frequency at 1180 to 1300 cm inverse in case of the esters okay so in this way you can easily distinguish this two pair so whatever ir absorption peaks shown by the phenyl acetic acid are absent in case of methyl benzoate and whatever peaks shown by methyl benzoate these are absent in case of phenyl acetic acid that's it so in this way you can easily distinguish the two Uh, compounds or a pair by ir a spectroscope okay now let's go for the next type of the question another type of question asked on the basis of ir spectroscopy is how will you follow the following reaction so if you are taking the any organic reaction so it consists of conversion of reactant into product so initially only reactant is present definitely and after complete reaction so reactant is converted into a product so what phenomenon occur in this particular process or conversion so one functional group will be changes to another functional group another functional group so whatever ir frequencies are shown initially that will be absent in case of product because functional group is changed into another functional group let's take one example suppose we have a this particular reaction 
we have a this compound what's the name of this compound it's a cyclohexanol and it is converted into cyclohexanol so which reaction we have to do it's oxidation reaction so any oxidizing agent you can use so it may be K2CR2O7 in presence of H2SO4 okay so we are studying the oxidation reaction now how will you this reaction follow by the IR spectroscopy so initially IR frequency at 3500 to 3600 cm inverse is occur due to presence of hydroxyl group but after complete reaction the IR frequency due to OH group that is 3500 to 3600 cm inverse is disappear and new frequency or new IR band appears at 1710 cm inverse so this one this will show the 1710 cm inverse as it is the carbonyl group so in this way we can follow the reaction if if a product or final product shows both peaks what it indicates final product shows both peaks what it, in, it will indicate so it indicates that reaction is still incomplete so reaction is a incomplete so in this way you can easily follow the any reaction okay let's take one more example suppose this is the reaction we have to follow by IR spectroscopy so formaldehyde is reacted with the Grignard reagent that is CS3MGBR and hydrolysis so you'll get the primary alcohol and which on mild oxidation with the PCC that is the pyridinium chlorochromate forms acetaldehyde so this is the reaction it's a two-step reaction so what changes will occur during the IR spectrum when you are taking it so initially formaldehyde is present so formaldehyde will show the two characteristic frequency first characteristic frequencies of the CH aldehyde stretching frequency that is 2700 to 2900 cm inverse is occurs due to the definitely aldehydic CH stretching frequency and one more is this one carbonyl group so carbonyl group will show the IR frequency at 1710 cm inverse so after completion of first step these two frequency will disappear both frequencies will disappear 1710 and 2700 to 2900 cm inverse because both the groups are not showing in this as it is the alcohol and now new frequency will be reappear at 3500 to 3600 cm inverse as hydroxyl group is present so this is the first stage analysis so if you are going from this ethyl alcohol to acetaldehyde second stage once again these two frequencies of the carbonyl group and aldehyde group reappear up to the 1710 to 1720 and 2700 to 2900 cm inverse respectively and the frequency at 3500 to 3600 cm inverse will what disappear so this will disappear okay so this is the analysis of this particular reaction by IR spectroscopy. Got it? Okay. Next question is give the important picks of following polymers. So some polymers are given to you and you have to find out the characteristic IR picks of the particular 
polymer let's take the first example of this it's a polyamide so your first job is you have to draw the structure of polyamide so let's draw that so we have a structure of the polyamide like this so it has a amide group so r n h c o r dash okay so which ir picks will be shown by this polyamide so first pick is shown by this is due to the carbonyl group of the amide and second pick is the nh stretching frequency so carbonyl group of amide it will appears at the absorption band 1680 cm inverse while nh stretching frequency is at 3300 to 3350 cm inverse so these are the two characteristic peaks shown by the polymer you can convert this cm inverse into micron also so you have to just take the reciprocal of it and multiply by 10000 so conversion of cm inverse to micron or micron to centimeter inverse so simple thing so you have to just take the reciprocal and multiply by 10 raised to 4 that's it so this is the important thing that you have to remember and it will be applicable for the both the conversions centimeter inverse to micron or micron to centimeter inverse if you want to convert 1680 cm inverse into a micron so we have to just take the reciprocal of it so 1680 cm inverse that we have to convert into a microns ok so let's take its reciprocal so 1 by 1680 into 10 raised to 4 so that's nothing but the 10,000 so if you are doing this calculations you will get 5.9 micron so in this way you can easily find out the IR frequencies and conversions of the centimeter inverse to micron and micron to centimeter inverse okay so we'll have a 5.9 micron for this similarly you can convert 3300 centimeter inverse to 3350 centimeter inverse it will occur up to 2.923 micron that's it so in this way you can easily find out the important ir picks in the polymers okay next let's take the one more example <coughs> suppose next example is a poly vinyl keto polyvinyl keto so let's draw the structure first of the polyvinyl ketone so vinyl group all of you know that ch2 ch and at this vinylic position we have to just add the ketonic group so we'll have this so this is the polyvinyl ketone so in polyvinyl ketone so this is a carbonyl group that's the characteristic frequency carbonyl group so it will occur at 1720 centimeter inverse it's a normal ketone and its value in the micron is 5.8 micron one more example suppose you have a polystyrene polystyrene let's draw its structure polystyrene <clears throat> so it has a structure it's like this so in polystyrene probably you will get this particular IR absorption band due to the aromatic 
CH stretching frequency it's about 3000 to 3100 centimeter inverse while you have a aromatic region also aromatic double bond so you will have a carbon carbon double bond frequency also that is of the aromatic and that is about 1500 to 1600 centimeter inverse if you want to convert this into a micron so 3000 to 3100 centimeter inverse is 6 point sorry 3.3 to 3.2 micron and if you have a 1500 centim 1500 to 1600 centimeter inverse so it will be probably up to 6 to 6.25 6 to 6.25 micron okay so this is the polystyrene let's go for the next example suppose you will have polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl chloride so let's draw the structure first ch2 ch cl so this is the cru is the n times so <coughs> what peak generally or ir peak generally shown by the polyvinyl chloride so characteristic peak is of the ccl bond okay and it's about 800 to 600 centimeter inverse and in micron if you want to convert so it will be about 12.5 to 16 micron so this is the characteristic peak in polyvinyl chloride so if you have one more example of polyvinyl acetate let's draw that polyvinyl acetate <coughs> suppose you have the structure is like this So this is the polyvinyl acetate so in polyvinyl acetate you will have a carbonyl group as well as coc linkage so two linkages you can show here or two ir picks you can show so suppose you have a coc linkage that's the ethereal linkage it's about 1000 to 1300 centimeter inverse you can convert it into a micron then carbonyl group of the ester and the ester carbonyl group probably at 1735 to 1750 cm inverse so like this so you can easily analyze the polymer compounds also by ir spectroscopy okay thank you very much best of luck